In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to send large files through Google Drive. If the files are too big to send by email or any other method like that. The first thing you need to do is upload your file to Google Drive if you haven't already. If the file you want to send is already on Google Drive, you can of course just skip this step and go ahead to sending it. But if the file isn't on Google Drive yet, you just need to go to drive.google.com on your computer and sign in with your Google account if you haven't already so that you can see all of your Google Drive files in Google Drive like this. And now you'll just need to click on the new button in the top left hand corner here. So click new and then in this menu that appears, come down and click file upload. And now a files app window will pop up on your computer and you just need to select the file that you want to upload. So this might look a bit different depending on what computer you have, but you basically just need to click into any folder that the file is in and then find the file somewhere in here. And once you find the file you want to upload, just double click on it to select it. And now, as you'll see on Google Drive, you see the file uploading and the progress of the upload in the bottom right hand corner. So this says it's going to take less than one minute. So to me, it's actually sending a fairly small file. It's still too large to be sent by email, but it is actually fairly small. So it uploaded quite quickly. If you had a really big file or if your internet connection isn't very fast, you might have to wait quite a long time for that to upload. So you might want to sort of do something else and just monitor this in the background for a while. But however long it takes, once your file upload is complete, it'll say one upload complete here. And that means the file is now on Google Drive. And once your file is on Google Drive, you'll be able to send it to people using Google Drive's sharing functionality. And you'll basically have two different sharing options here. You can share it directly by typing the person's email address into Google Drive, and then they'll get an email from Google Drive with a button they can click to access and download the file. Or you can use link sharing where you create a special link to the file and then paste that link in an email or a message or anything like that. And then anyone who clicks on that link will be able to access the file. Timmy actually has two different videos about both of these sharing methods where Timmy goes into detail and shows you everything you need to know about each method. So Timmy will put links to both of them in the description below if you want to watch either of those and learn a lot more about either of those methods. But basically, if you want to share it with someone directly by typing in their email address, all you really need to do is find the file in Google Drive. So if you had the file on your Google Drive previously, hopefully you know where it is. So if it was in a folder or something, you would click on the folder or you might just have to scroll down and find it, or maybe you could search for it up here. Or if you've just uploaded the file, like Timmy did, it should probably be up the top here. If you don't see it up the top here, you might just need to click on My Drive to make sure you're on My Drive, and then make sure that all your files are sorted by last modified so that the most recently modified file will be at the top. And Timmy has an entire video about that as well. And then once you've sorted it like that, you should see your file up here because we just uploaded this file. So it is the most recently modified file. But wherever your file is, once you've found it, all you need to do is click on the three dots in this top corner here if you have your files laid out in a list view, it'll be the three dots next to the file like that. 
but if it's in the grid, it'll be these three dots. So it's a little different, but it's basically the same thing. You just click on these three dots here, and then this menu will pop up here. And in this menu, you'll just need to come down and hover over share here, and then come across to this side menu that appears and click share. And now you will get to share the file. So there's this box up here where it says add people and groups. And this is where you can put someone's email address. So just go ahead and type the email address of whoever you want to share the file with in this box. And now we're sharing it with them. So you get a few different options. You can choose if you want them to be an editor, a commenter, or a viewer. So a viewer is really all you'll need to do because if they're a viewer, they'll be able to view the file and download it to their computer, which is probably all they're going to want to do in cases like this. But if you know the person and you know they're not really going to do anything weird or anything, you can probably just leave it to editor. It means they would be able to rename the file and do a few things like that, but it doesn't really matter. So most of the time, there's probably not much point changing it to viewer. But if you're sharing it with a lot of people or something, or you're sharing it with someone you really don't know very well, maybe you'd want to set it to viewer, but it's not that important for things like this. You want to make sure you leave this ticked because that says notify people. So they'll get an email with a button to access the file. So that'll be quite good. You probably want to leave that on. And you can also add a message here if you want to. This is completely optional, but if you want to say, hi, here's the file you wanted or something, you can type that in here. And then that message will be added to the email they receive. But Timmy's not going to bother with that because you've probably already told them that you're sharing the file with them. So it's not really that necessary. And once you're happy with everything, you can just go ahead and click send. And now the file will be shared with them. So now Bob or whoever you shared the file with will get an email from Google Drive telling them that you've shared a file with them and all they'll have to do is click on the button in the email and they'll be able to access the file. Some large file types actually can't be viewed or used on Google Drive. And if it's a video, it will need to be processed on Google Drive for a few hours after it's been uploaded before anyone can watch it on Google Drive. But that's okay because once they open the file, they can just click on the download icon near the top right hand corner to download the file. And then the file will download to their computer and they'll be fully able to do whatever they want with it, just like any other file on their computer. If the file is really large, they might get a message saying Google Drive was unable to scan the file for viruses. That doesn't necessarily mean there are any viruses in the file. It just means Google can't check for viruses. So as long as they trust you and they know you're not sending them a file with a virus in it, they can quite safely go ahead and click the download anyway button and the download will begin. So that's direct sharing and link sharing is actually pretty similar. Just like direct sharing, you'll need to find the file in Google Drive so Timmy's already found Timmy's file here, but if you haven't, you might just need to scroll around and click into different folders to find your file. But then once you've found it here, you just need to click on the three dots in the top right hand corner or next to the file if the file is in list view. And now in this menu that appears, come down to share here and come across to this side menu. And there is a copy link option here, but you can't actually use that just yet. You have to do something else first. So before we do that, 
we'll come up to share and click on share here. And now it will pull up all the sharing options, just like when we did direct sharing. So you have the option to type more people's email addresses in here. And you can see the file is currently shared with Bob as an editor, because we shared it directly with Bob just before. But to use link sharing, you need to come down to general access here and click on where it says restricted and change that to anyone with the link. So now, when it was set to restricted, only Bob and Tech Time with Timmy could access the file. But now that it's set to anyone with the link, anyone who has this special link to the file will just automatically be able to view and download it. As you can see, it's set to viewer, so they can't rename it or anything. And that's probably smart with link sharing. You probably want to leave it set to viewer. But once you do that, you're ready to go. So you can use the other copy link option in the menu we saw before. Or while we're in here, you can just go ahead and click this copy link button here and click done to get rid of this menu. And now we have a link copied ready to share. So now the link to access the file is just copied to your computer. So all you have to do is paste it somewhere. So if we go to Gmail and start typing an email or any messaging app, or maybe you could paste it in a Google doc or something, all you need to do is right click anywhere where you can type and click paste in the menu that appears. And now this is your sharing link. So now you can send this email to people and anyone who clicks on it will be able to view and download the file. So if we go ahead and click send to send this email off, now anyone who receives your email and clicks on the link will just be able to view and download the file just like that. So those are the two ways that you can share your large file to people using Google Drive, and they both work pretty well. But if you use a Gmail to send emails, and you want to send a file to someone, but it's too large, Gmail can actually upload the file to Google Drive and insert the link for you automatically. All you need to do is start composing your email in Gmail, so we'll click compose and type in the to address and the subject and everything else like that. And then all you need to do is try to attach the file just like you normally would. So you come down and click on the paperclip icon to attach the file and then choose the file in this file window here. And now rather than attaching the file, you get this message that says your file is larger than 25 megabytes. So it will be sent as a Google Drive link. So your file has already started uploading, but it's actually not uploading to Gmail. Instead, it's uploading to Google Drive. And it's just finished uploading. So it's now uploaded to Google Drive and it's inserted the link directly into the email like this. So if you use Gmail and you want to do it this way, this can really be quite easy. You don't have to pull up Google Drive and upload the file and find it and do all the sharing stuff. It just does it all for you. So now you can finish typing your email. And once you're happy with it, go ahead and click send. And now, before it sends, it will give you this pop-up message saying that people need access to the file. So if you're sending this email to a Google account email address, like this one, bobbysmith at gmail.com, it will allow you to basically directly share the file with them. So in this case, the way it's done this, all we would need to do is click send and now just Bob would have viewer access. So 
we click send and Bob can click on that link, but if anyone else clicks on that link, it won't work for them. But if you're sending it to a non-Google account email address, so some other email address that's not connected to a Google account, it'll probably be set to anyone with the link can view. So that would just mean anyone who ever clicks on this link can access the file. It doesn't really make much difference here because you're just sending this email to the one person or maybe two people anyway. So it doesn't make a big difference, but you can really just go ahead and click send with whatever configuration it gives you, should work out fine. And then it will go ahead and send the email. And then when your recipient receives the email, they can just click on the link embedded in the email and access the file, just like they would if you shared it with either of the other two methods. And after you do any of these methods, if it's a really large file you're sending, you might notice that the file is taking up a lot of your Google Drive storage space. But if it is, and you really need the storage back, you can actually delete the file from Google Drive after the person you've sent it to has downloaded it, if you want to. You might want to send them an email or a text message or something first, and just confirm they've definitely already downloaded the file from Google Drive. But once they have, you can just delete the file from Google Drive and remove it from your trash folder on Google Drive. And then you get that storage space back. And if you don't know how to do that, Timmy shows you how to do that in this video here.